Hello my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Saturday 19th of November 2022 and I bring a message of exhortation to you starting with the reading of a passage of scripture from Mark verses 14 to 29. When they came to the other disciples, they saw a large crowd around them and the teachers of the law arguing with them. As soon as all the people saw Jesus, they were overwhelmed with wonder and ran to greet him. What are you arguing with them about? Jesus asked. A man in the crowd answered, Teacher, I brought you my son who is possessed by a spirit that has robbed him of speech. Whenever it seized him, it throws him to the ground. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth and becomes rigid. I asked your disciples to drive out the spirit, but they could not. You unbelieving generation, Jesus replied, how long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. So they brought him. When the spirit saw Jesus, it immediately threw the boy into a convulsion. He fell to the ground and rolled around, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the boy's father, how long has it been like this? From childhood, he answered. It has often thrown him into fire or water to kill him. But if he can do anything, take pity on us and help us. If you can, Jesus answered, everything is possible for one who believes. Immediately the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my, my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the crowd was running to the scene, he rebuked the impure spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, he said, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. The spirit shrieked, convulsed him, violently and came out the boy looked so much like a corpse that many said he's dead but jesus took him by the hand and lifted him to his feet and he stood up after jesus had gone indoors his disciples asked him privately why couldn't we drive it out he replied this kind come out only by praying. A few years ago, I had a similar experience personally. I was out shopping and I saw just outside a shop a man on the ground foaming at the mouth and hitting his head on the ground as he was laying on his back. Um, his friends, I, I, I believe there were some of his family members there as well, and some of his friends uh, were scared to even get close to him. And for a few seconds, I uh, just thought, uh, I have to discern uh, this situation first before I do anything and so I quickly had a kind of connection with the Lord and, and had my little prayer and, and believed that I had to go and pray for the man. I went near, sat there and put my hand on his neck as he was beating his head against the ground and I didn't shout I didn't pray loud 
I didn't say anything, um, you know, spectacular. Just commanded the spirit out of him and never enter him again in Jesus name quietly he heard me he stopped foaming at the mouth he stopped hitting his head on the ground he opened his eyes he saw me I helped him up he stood up and then his friends and uh, family members came to him and uh, a car came and they were taking him away and he was so overjoyed himself that man uh, he was taking me with him he was saying you have to come because I felt like he thought uh, that convulsion will seize him again will come back to him again but I said to him I didn't do anything Jesus healed you and you won't have this again as he was going into the car he kept looking at me and he was asking me to go but I said you don't need me Jesus is with you and, and that was it uh, today the medicine industry has various names for these kind of things um, and God knows the spirits and uh, these are the spirits but we can call them a uh, seizure we can call uh, this man having a fit um, epilepsy and all sorts of things but we need to know the spirits do you sometimes doubt that all things are possible with God It is likely most of us at one point at least in our life got to the point that we have that doubt sometimes or the other uh, we have a doubt that God is going to do what he said he would do believing is one thing having a doubt is another Jesus said if you believe and say to this mountain throw yourself into the sea he will be thrown into the sea and don't doubt if you believe and don't doubt he said now believing is something that most of us can do but having no doubt at the same time is the difficult part of it because we rely on our human standards human reasonings and that's where faith falters that's where doubt creeps in because we uh, doubt that the Lord will do what he said he'll do and don't forget he'll do what he said he'll do not what you wish he would do not what you dream he would do not what you want him to do faith is not something to coerce God into doing something faith is simply believing he will do what he said he will do trusting him and as we grow in the knowledge of God we trust him more and the way you grow in the knowledge of God is to first of all read the Word of God to understand him to understand his character his personality and do what he asks of you to do don't ask what the Lord can you can do for you ask what you can do for the Lord and do it and as you do you experience different things in your life and you learn the way God works in your life at least and your faith grows more and more stronger and stronger by the day 
I hope this message has been encouraging and strengthening your faith. Till Tuesday, God bless you and goodbye.